I'm going to give you a walk around of my rig because a lot of people have asked me if I would do a YouTube uh, video on this. So it's a good time to do it, I think, right now. Absolutely. So. My name's Dylan Decker. Um, I'm a little bit of a beginner um, learning about these kind of rigs, so I might be a good person for, uh, for him to walk around and, and just teach about it. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, I've only been doing this for about a year and a half. So for me, um, I'm going to give you some do's and don'ts of things that I kind of tried and things that I failed at and some other things that, that worked out pretty well as far as equipment and buying things and really looking at some different things that are in here. You so. want to almost start off just by going, you know, why Dodge? What's a power wagon? Yeah. Um, I guess the, the base of this entire beast. Yeah, so, so the power wagon, the power wagon is, is uh, basically like a Jeep in some ways. You know, we don't have the turning radius, and of course, for, it's, a, it's a larger scale. But it's got full lockers, um, front and back lockers. I can disconnect uh, the sway bar electronically. So um, I can articulate this thing just unbelievably and, and climb up some, some pretty intense stuff. I don't have the clearance like a Jeep has to, to approach rocks and climb up a rock because my, my bumper and everything sits in the front. But, but for me personally, that's not what I plan on doing. I, I plan on overlanding to a, to a place where I can pull in, I can do some off-road stuff, camp, stay for three or four days, actually stay for weeks if I want to. And so I've got this set up you know, with, with, with the equipment that I need to where I could actually take a trip up to Canada yep. or the Alaskan coast or whatever and, and, and really spend some time on it. So Yeah. What about so suspension? Is it uh Everything that I have is stock. So it comes with um, great suspension. There's, there's really nothing to add. Um, you can. You can add it. Um, I do plan on changing mine later um, just, just because. Um, it kind of rides a little like a tank and my wife of <laughs> course she doesn't always like the ride because it's there so a little softer suspension but it's it's pricey so i'm going to wait until the suspension uh goes bad before i replace it yeah i'm not going to throw away money that easy <laughs> so i and want to yeah <laughs> but, I, but i can't and then you um, got you got the bfg uh all terrains what size are those i did these are these are 35s and okay. the reason i went with 35s is that too softens the ride just a little bit um uh and secondly, it just looks right. It came with 33s, and the 33s look like skateboard tires. They're so small on such a large truck, and um, it just looks wrong. So, so I put the 35s, you know, I get a lot of people telling me I should go to 37s, but for me, 35s work fine. I don't want to waste any more gas mileage. I, I lost a couple miles per gallon going to 35s, but I like the ride. And these tires are actually, um, they're really, they're really great tires for road noise too. They, you know, they're aggressive tread, but they still are quiet tires. So, um, you know, I, I, I hear trucks come around me, and all I can hear is their tires over my yeah. stereo. <laughs> so, so these are these seem to be pretty good. These are KO2s, um, and they're they're pretty good. And then obviously you got methods on there. I do. Yeah, I put method wheels on it. Um, I just like the looks of them. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, they're great wheels, but um, you know, I, I think that they match this truck pretty well. Yeah. Pretty well. And then obviously you got a you got a beast of things here in the back. I don't even know where to yeah, start. Yeah, let me start on the. I'm going to start on the tonneau cover and rack yeah. because this is where, this is where it's really hard because, you want to you want to have a tonneau cover. So I started when I first bought this. I bought a flip cover, a tri flip cover, and you know those are eight hundred to a thousand dollars that you pay for those. And I I bought it, and then I wanted to rack, but then I didn't put my my thought into it. And if I wanted to rack that could actually flip a flip a trifold cover, it would have had to be in a really tall rack, and it would have had to be in a straight looking rack. And it's not what I wanted, because that would have put my tent above the truck with yep. fuel mileage and everything yep. else. Goes so, down even more. So I ended up finding this Retrax, uh, the Retrax uh, tonneau cover, which rolls back into itself. And it's a great cover. And then uh, you can actually, it's got the, it's got the T-slots. And there's only yep. a couple of them that have T-slots so that you can use the Yakima racks. There's a couple of the racks you can use on it. But you can use the rack. The only thing is, there's three parts to it. If you get the tonneau cover, um, then you get the rack. There's also a, 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 a little piece in between here that you have to buy. I didn't know that when I bought it. So I had the, <laughs> I had the rack and I had the tonneau cover, and I had to wait like three months for back order in order to actually <laughs> put it together because I couldn't. Um, this, uh, this in addition is another addition to it. Um, the Yakima rack itself is a great rack but it comes with one bar that goes across with another t-slot yep. and i wanted to put more gear on it yeah so rack stars sells this um this molly panel rack star yeah rack yeah. star and they sell this molly panel thing that goes in here and it allows you to actually have a bigger bigger cover so you can put other things these are these are actually yakima holders that are holding on the shovel um i don't remember who i bought this through but this is um 
this is a fire extinguisher holder. Yeah. And I don't I don't go anywhere without a fire extinguisher and you know a, a medical kit and a kit to get myself out of yeah. out of situations. Yeah. So so no, this is a it's it's been good, but but it is it's a it's a lot of thought that has to go into it. And if you buy them in the wrong in the wrong order, then you can end up like me buying two different tonneau covers and two different racks and then trying to sell off the old ones <laughs> and, and stuff. So that's it. Of course, I did get the the, the Yakima shower. Uh, for this one, this is a seven gallon shower. Um, it's called the road shower. And it actually has two heads. On this side, I can put my, my uh, actual shower head comes off of here. And you basically, you fill it with water, you pressurize it with your air pump. Um, I've got both, I use an electric pump. Uh, it's a De DeWalt air, air tire rubber, yep. uh, air uh, inflator. And then I also have, um, you know, the, um, oh, I can't think of the tank. So, but then on the other side, it actually has a hose that I can run. So when I set up my, when I'm back here by my kitchen, I can actually run my hose out and have pressurized water. And actually the pressure is pretty good. I can squirt for quite a ways with that thing, like probably 15, 15 20 feet. I mean, yeah. there's good enough pressure with it. Um, of course, the shower head lasts longer. It, it's, it's less water coming out at the time. And I'll do, a, I'll do a video on that, on just the road shower itself yeah. at some point. But... Um, but yeah, you can go through water pretty fast if you use the handheld. I and bet. You don't, yeah, seven gallons doesn't go far if you if you full throttle it. Yeah. So so that pretty much covers. So like I said, the tonneau cover rolls back, and I can protect everything on the inside from rain, and uh, keeping things dry, not dusty, um, and just keep them keep them in order. Um, on the back here, the problems I had when I went to 35s is I didn't have room for a spare. The spare mm -hmm. a 35 won't fit underneath this truck. It comes with a 33. And it just fits a 33. I mean, yep. it seriously, <laughs> it's that close. Um, so for a while, I had my spare in the back. I debated putting it on top of my truck, but it's heavy. Mm -hmm. So trying to get it off of there would be a pain. Um, so I so I found this company, uh, Rigid. I think it's Rigid. R I G D. Could be rigged. Could be rigid. Yep. Um, and they make this swing arm. So the swing arm. Here, let me swing this out for you. Yeah. The swing arm comes out, and there's a lot of extras added to this, but. Um, it comes out like this so I can still access my, my bed. And then what I've done on this is I've actually bought the, the rigid table too. So this has a, it is. a little uh, flip down flip down table with a cutting board. So I can put my grill here, which I definitely don't keep my gas on here when I'm grilling. <laughs> so don't think I do. I, I put that over there. Um, this is badass. Though. But I can set up. I love it. Yeah. It's, a, it's such a nice system because I got my... my propane which we'll see in a minute yeah my propane I run it over here I can have my kitchen here I drop my tail my tailgate and everything is just right here so, so I can essential. actually have like a full kitchen just wow. just all in one so it's a it's a nice setup um, now on the back side of this you'll notice that uh, I added whoops. I added this, this is an addition that goes on it. So, so you don't get all this stuff when you buy it. You have to add, <laughs> so, so to be able to put a fuel tank on there, uh, Rigid sells a, um, you know, a, a piece for that. Um, the tire mount kit um, is, is, is a part of it. Um, this I actually bought separately and, and added that because I wanted my propane back here, you know, that was always by my, by my kitchen area. Um, but a couple of things you have to notice when you when you buy these things or realize is when you buy one of these, you lose your license plate because nobody can see it. So legally, you have to find another place to put your license plate. Mm -hmm. So they have a kit for that, which goes here. But you also lose your camera because the camera on the power wagon is up here in the um, is in the handle for the for the for the bed. So and it works with the three three D. So you can't just buy. $100 camera, you have to buy the 3D camera so that you can actually tie it into your 3D surround uh, camera on this truck so yep. that you can see the whole, you know, up top view and stuff. Yep. So, so it adds up. It I mean, adds just, up. By the time you start adding it up, you know, it's, it's, it just keeps going. And uh, so you're better off just to not tell anybody what you spent for <laughs> at all. So, um, you want to talk about the roof nest? Um, yeah. yeah. The roof nest, I went back and forth on. Uh, <laughs> several times on which one to get and so the roof nest i got the condor xl this is the biggest roof nest they make um at least when i bought this one i think they've had some new versions of this i've had this for about a year and a half um this opens up clamshell and then it flips out so it basically is a king size bed on the inside it's got a four inch mattress it's got lighting in there so so it 
comes out to about right here when it's all folded out. And passenger side. Yeah, yeah, passenger side. It flips out this way, and there's a ladder that comes down. So I'll put uh, pictures of that on here as well. Awesome. But um, yeah, so it's been great. That's a it's a great thing. Um, just when you're camping, you're not you're not on the ground. You don't have to worry about scorpions or rattlesnakes yeah. or bears or anything. <laughs> um, the only thing is you do have to climb up a ladder, which for me it's not a big deal. Other other people, my wife isn't too crazy about it, but <laughs> but. Uh, that's okay. Um, let's talk about lights since we're back here. Yeah. Because I've got a couple of things I added on here that are unique. One is is these little lights right here on the sides. So what these are, I bought these from Laser uh, Laser Star Lights, and these are actually kind of neat lights because they um they're color changing. So if I'm in an area and I've got a lot of mosquitoes or whatever, I can put these on red light, and then even like using my flashlights, I've got some red flashlights that I use as well. And I don't have to worry about the bugs near as bad. You get a little bit, but not as much as if you turn all your red, uh, all your white lights on. Mm -hmm. So I can I can basically light up my entire truck um, red. These actually shine down on the ground here, and then I put one in the back that shines on my tailgate. I have another one in underneath the tent that shines in the back of the bed, and of course on the other side there's the same two lights on that side. So. Um, they, they work really well. They're just, they're fantastic. And the nice part about them is they, they work off my cell phone. So they're independent. They're plugged into the battery, but I run them off my phone. So I can actually turn them on or off from my tent. Rad. So it's it's pretty nice. Um, Two ambers in the back, too. Yeah, I did. I put Casey's back here, my chase lights. So I've got Casey lights on the back, and then you'll see I put Casey's on the front. And then Laser Star actually makes some other lights that are, that are uh, you know, ditch lights and, and road lights. I did put Laser Star as my ditch lights. We'll get up to those in a minute. But yeah, these are these are great little lights. And of course, those I actually put those all on a switch that um, I'll show you that. But it, basically, it's a switch that I can bring out here. I can turn on all my lights remotely without my truck being turned on. Um, just in case in the middle of the night I need to flip my lights on, I want to be able to do that. So yeah. so I, c I can do that all without being in my truck. I can carry the switch around. Okay. Right on. You have the same system here in between the the rack. This is uh, this is mounted on this side. Yeah, yeah. So I've got the that's I've got the rack uh, rack star, just like on the other side they yep. had on here. And then what I did is I I ended up putting my uh, my boards on here. So these are Max Trax Extreme. Um, I don't know if they're really needed or not. They're they're a little thicker, I believe, because when I first got them, I got these pins and I got the wrong pins. I got them for the MK twos, and I noticed that. Um, they're, they're, these are thicker. I couldn't actually put these on the MK2 pin. So that's another thing. As you get the boards, make sure that you really look at which pins you buy yeah. because they have to work together. Um, and then actually, I, have, I actually fabricated mine. I fabricated some metal in the back and welded up a little, a little rack that'll hold these and put these on because there was nothing that I found that I could just put on there that wasn't way expensive. Yeah. So, so I just fabricated some, some myself and welded them up and, and used those on here. Right on. So these, these running boards, these come with the truck? These running boards don't come with the truck. The truck actually comes, this one came with no running boards. Um, a friend of mine actually bought a new 2021. Actually, his is actually a 2022. And his came with uh, his came with rock sliders on it. Oh, wow. But then he put running boards, so I bought his rock sliders. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I'll be like switching off. If I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to be doing some more heavier off-road where I have to worry a little more about banging up the bottom of my truck, I'll, I'll pull these off, but I'll be honest with you. My wife is short, and uh, she can't get in the truck, so so I had to put running boards on here for her. Um, they're not they're not the ones that I would like to have, but to be honest with you, they work great, and, and I get a lot of compliments. So apparently they look okay. Yeah. But uh, but I would rather have rock sliders, but that would limit her never going with me. Yeah. I, I kind of like her. So <laughs> so um, as far as food goes and, and and drinks, you just throw a yeti in the. I did not throw a Yeti in the bed. So I have, I have a, uh, oh, look at that. I have a Dometic 75 quart fridge. So I got the two parts. So it's got a fridge, it's fridge freezer combination. And again, this, you can, I can check it from my phone and make sure that, um, you know, it works through Bluetooth. So I can set, set the uh, temperatures and stuff as I'm driving and make sure. Uh, right now I have this set just on fridge for both sides, but yeah. you can make freezer on both sides. You could do half and half, uh, one side, holds a little more than the other because of course there's a battery and stuff or what yeah. the electronics that are in there um i'll be honest with you 75 quart is a monster just to throw this in there it's, it's everything i can do to lift it up and get it in here yeah. when it's empty so uh 
if I went back and did it again, I would probably get a 50 quarter, 50 quarter. Or, or lower because this is just too big. I, you know, I'm, well, I'll just be honest. I'm, I'm 54 years old. I don't want to sit on little chairs in front of a little campfire with yeah. a little table. <laughs> I don't want to have a little fridge. Yeah. So I have a large truck with a lot of room. So for me, you know, having bigger things is more enjoyable yeah. because I can, I can be gone longer. I can do bigger things, but at the same time, this was too big. Yeah. This is just too luggy, <laughs> too too heavy to carry and stuff. So, so yeah, I would probably scale that down. Nothing wrong with coolers, uh, but I really don't miss having ice yeah. or, or like uh, melted ice and water in my cooler. Right. This thing, I can have ice all the time. And so, uh, the way I power that though, I'll show you in a little bit. I use the Goal Zero 1500 uh, battery pack. Yeah, what you solar powered. Yeah, and then I have I have the large uh, solar panels too. So I've got and I'll I'll do a link to those as well. But I've got the large solar panels, which they're pretty. They're about as long as this truck, about two thirds of the truck long, wow. and they set up. But I can actually I can run this fridge off of my Goal Zero for about five days on a not in the middle of the summer, but like on a regular day like this, I can run it for about five days without having to recharge that battery up. If I set up my solar panels, I can recharge that that battery in about five and a half, six hours. It charges up pretty quick. So if I'm gonna be out somewhere, I just have to stay somewhere for at least six hours in the yeah. sun. And then I've got another few days that I can drive around. So it's it's pretty nice. Oh, you also notice in here, I do have, um, on the back, I've got these little tactical back carriers. And uh, they're kind of nice. Uh, they allow you to put all your radios, cam or uh, flashlights. Um, they got service or such like bags on them. The other, the other one I have on there has a has a backpack holder, so I can actually strap that on there. So they look kind of tactical, which is not me. I'm not a military guy, but man, they work really nice. Yeah. They're just super, super comfortable, and they, you know, they're they're kind of keep things out of the way. So um, I guess the inside I haven't added anything really. Um, I got a phone mount by Quad uh, Quad Lock. Um, I use that for my phone. I use them actually on my dual sport motorcycle too. It's, it's I think the best uh, phone mounting systems you can get. They're fantastic. But otherwise, everything's in here is pretty standard. I didn't really add anything to the dash. So um, coming out here, the lighting. So like I said, I did put ditch lights on there. Um, these are by Laser Star. My ditch lights are. I don't remember how many lumens they are. But um, they do the job. I think they've got to be at least a thousand or fifteen hundred or maybe two thousand. They're, they're they're bright. They're super bright. And then on the front, I actually put uh, the KC um, KC lights on the front of it. So so I'm pretty lit up <laughs> when I'm going on the trail. So I can uh, I can light everything up pretty good. Um, I am gonna put. I've got. I've still got some more lighting. I'm gonna do on it. Um, I'm gonna do some lighting in my wheel wells for for rock uh, rock lights. And then I'm going to put two more of the little round lights I've got in the back. I'm going to put two of those underneath my hood so that when I'm working on my hood, I've just got there I have go. terrible lighting when I'm working on yeah. the truck. So. Um, a winch there in front. Yeah, it comes with a winch. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, the power wagon comes with a winch. So it's pretty nice. And it's, a, I believe, a 15,000-pound winch, wow. I believe. I might be wrong, but I, I believe it's 15,000 pounds, which is good because the truck, <laughs> it's just a heavy truck. Have you had it's a big it truck. Uh, not to pull myself out, yeah. but I used to <laughs> pull some other people out. Yeah, yeah, right on. Yeah, and then the bull bar, of course, that it does not come with a bull bar, so I ended up having to get the bull bar so I could mount my lights to that. So, and that bull bar isn't a standard 2500 bull bar. That's you can't put a standard one on here because most 2500s are diesel, and the ones that aren't, they don't fit this bull bar. So this is a special one made for just for power wagons. So there's that I know of. There's one guy that makes it. And I bought it from that guy, so so it worked out. And I think that's pretty much my truck. Oh, let me show you the 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 power. Yes, excuse me. I have my camera gear and some other stuff in here, but this is the Goal Zero 1500. Um, I carry that and I keep this on my fridge, and I just I run my fridge. I also got the Goal Zero 500 right behind it. And I just use that to to power up things that I need to recharge. So if yeah. I need to recharge my phone or my cameras or any of that stuff, then I'll then I'll use that. Um, I have two different solar powers that I use. This is a small one that I can use on the smaller smaller one. So it's a it's the Nomad 50, and that works well for for powering the 
not this. This would take days to, yeah. to power off this little guy. But it works good on uh, it works good on the on the on the 500, and I have a little Goal Zero power pack that it'll charge out of in no time. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I guess, like I said, I can run that off my solar panels. I can charge this up in five or six hours, and then I can run my fridge for days. So, yeah. so it works nice. I can I can be off grid for as long as I want to. Wow. So, yeah. Right on, and I, I think, think this is a I think first first video of many. I doubt I asked yeah. ha half the questions all the people are wondering. So yeah. if you have any more, just drop them in the comments, and they'll get answered by by either yeah. another comment or a whole another video. Yeah, um, for sure, for sure. Right on. Thank you for the tour lane. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm.